Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss important past paper questions from March 2020 paper 1 to. In this lesson, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can have better understanding about these concepts. We will not only find the best possible option, we will also go through incorrect options. I will explain why those options are not Correct. For question number 11, it is given to us a particle with mass moves in a horizontal straight line through a uniform electric field in a vacuum. So in a vacuum, it simply means that we can ignore air resistance. So this is simply telling us we can ignore air resistance, mean air resistance is equal to zero. It is also given to us that there is a significant gravitational effect on the motion of the particle. It means we cannot ignore gravity we have to consider the effects of gravity in our calculations question is asking us what could be the direction of the electric field and the sign of the charge so first thing we need to find out what is direction of electric field this is one thing we need to find out and the second thing we need to find out what is the sign of the charge First of all, let's imagine that there is only one force acting on this particle. Let's say that force is gravity. If there is only gravity acting on this particle and gravity is always acting vertically downwards, then the motion of this particle, the path this particle will take, that will be parabolic path means particle will move like this but we want this particle to move in a horizontal straight line so it simply means that forces acting along vertical direction those forces has to be balanced the one force we have that is mg that is acting down but particle is moving in a uniform electric field there must be another force acting on this particle that force has to be electric force and this one has to be equal to mg but we understand electric force is equal to e q so from here we can say that f e has to be equal to mg if this particle is moving in a horizontal direction now let's try to look at these options and try to find out the answer if you look at option d Option D is telling us there is no charge on particles. If no charge, it means there is no electric force. So particle will follow this parabolic path. So this is not possible option. So this is incorrect option. So simply, simply we can eliminate this option. We can eliminate this one. We left with three options. We look at all these options one by one. First of all, it is given to us electric field direction is down. So simply we can draw our electric field like this. So electric field is pointing down and the charge is negative. If the charge is is negative so the force on the charge here let's say this is over negative charge we can also say this side is positive if you're not very clear you can also say the positive and negative so the force on this particle will be up and this is direction of electric force on this particle so this is possible option so we can say this can be correct answer let's look at option b now for option b it is given to us electric field is still acting down means direction of electric field is down this is pointing downwards and this is uniform electric field but in this case the sign of the charge is given the sign of the charge is positive if this is positive so it will move in direction of electric field so it simply means that it will experience electric force in downward direction so this is not possible answer because electric force has to be pointing upwards so this is not possible option for option c direction of electric field is upwards and the sign of charge is negative first of all let's write down this is option c for option c direction of electric field is upwards so this is over uniform electric field we can draw like this and the sign of charge here is given that is negative so this over negative charge we can also say this side this plate let's say it is between two plates so this plate has to be positive and this plate has to 
be negative. Now negative charge is placed inside this uniform electric field. This will experience force in direction opposite to the electric field lines means opposite to electric field direction so it will experience force down so this is also not possible option because electric force has to be pointing upwards our answer is a for this question for question number 12 it is given to us that there are two forces two parallel forces each of magnitude f act on a rod of length 5d which diagram shows the positions of the two forces that will produce the largest torque on the rod first of all we need to understand what is torque this is turning effect of a couple so this is simply first thing you need to understand what is the torque torque is turning effect of a couple that is torque so this is the first thing you need to understand torque simply we can write down this is equal to the magnitude of one force trying the perpendicular distance between two forces perpendicular distance between two forces so this is how we define the torque if we look at option a in this case these two forces they form a couple because these two forces the magnitude is the same they're acting in different directions and they're not acting along the same line in this case if we need to find the torque will be simply equal to fd so this is how you can find the torque of this couple if you look at option b now option b if you look at these two forces these are like parallel forces like parallel forces these are parallel forces but these two forces they do not form a couple in this case this rod will not rotate it will not rotate because these two forces they do not form a couple and two like parallel forces do not produce torque you can simply write down do not produce torque so this is the point you need to understand because these are two like parallel forces they do not form a couple and also they do not produce torque so in this case torque will be equal to zero so simply you can say that tau in this case tau will be equal to zero so simply we can write here if you look at option c for option c again we have two forces and these are like parallel forces again these are two like parallel forces we can again write down these are two like parallel forces they do not form a couple and they will not produce a torque do not produce a torque because they do not form a couple and they are like parallel forces they do not produce torque or simply we can say torque in this case will be equal to zero so for c tau is equal to zero now if you look at option d these two forces they form a couple they have the same magnitude they are acting in different directions they are not acting along the same line and they are separated by this distance this is the perpendicular distance between these two forces if we need to find out the torque produced by this couple and that is equal to magnitude of one force time the distance between two forces perpendicular distance between two forces that is equal to 2d in this case so simply this is equal to 2fd if you look at all these options now we can find the best possible option we simply need to compare a and d so this torque is the largest this is over best possible answer for this question it is given to us a mass of 30 kg is suspended from the end of a wire so you can see this is the mass so this is over mass and it is suspended at the end of a wire this one is the wire you can see this is the wire it is also given to us there is a horizontal force f that is acting here so this is horizontal force acting along horizontal it is also given that this is in equilibrium so equilibrium simply means that the resultant force acting on this mass is equal to zero resultant force in any direction it means if you look at the forces acting along horizontal they has to be equal to zero and if you look at forces acting along vertical they also has to be equal to zero so it simply means that f net in 
x direction has to be equal to zero and f net along vertical also has to be equal to zero we are not talking about z so if there is z it also has to be equal to zero so simply we can say along x and along y resultant force has to be zero second way to understand equilibrium is that if we draw the vector diagram so next thing we need to understand if we draw the vector diagram for any object that is in equilibrium then the forces must form a closed polygon means it can be triangle it can be rectangle polygon they must form a closed polygon we will use this vector addition method to answer this question let's try to draw the vector diagram before we draw the vector diagram we need to find out the force is acting on this object first force we can say the acting on this object this is the mg this is the gravity the second force f horizontal force is given and the third force is the tension in the string so this is acting in along the string in this direction now we need to add all these forces first of all let's draw weight this is gravity that is acting vertically down the second we have horizontal force that is acting along horizontal the last one this is the tension so this is the tension force so we can complete over this vector diagram so we can also label this is the mg and this is the force f and this force is tension this is t we also need to understand this angle as it is given here this angle is equal to 30 degrees we can also label here now if we look at this angle we can simply write down that tangent of 30 degrees that will be equal to the opposite side divided by adjacent side that is mg from here simply we can find out f that will be equal to mg time tangent of 30 degrees but we have value of mass we can simply plug in value of mass and g this is 9.81 then we just need to multiply with tangent of 30 degrees if we do this calculation our answer will be 170 newtons so the answer for this question is C. Let me explain to you this question using a different method. In this method, we will resolve forces into their components and we will find the value of horizontal force. For that purpose, we need to resolve tension into its component. If you look at tension, it has two components. It has one component that is acting vertically up. So this is one vertical component and it has another horizontal component that is acting opposite to this horizontal force this component means the vertical component this is equal to t cosine of theta or simply we can say this is equal to t cosine of 30 degrees because this is with this angle if we look at horizontal component this is equal to t sine of 30 degrees because this side is opposite to this angle so this is t sine 30 degrees now we need to equate forces along x direction and along y if you look at x direction we have two forces f is acting to the right so this is acting to the right and x means the x component the horizontal component of tension this is acting to the left so this is simply t sine of 30 degrees these two has to be equal because this mass is in equilibrium this is acting to the left these two forces are equal now if you look at forces acting along y direction we can simply write down we have this force means the gravity that is acting vertically down but we have a component of tension that is acting vertically up so from here simply we can say mg this is acting vertically down this has to be equal to the component of tension that is acting vertically up now simply we can also draw like this here this is f and we have component of tension that is acting this way and this is t sine of 30 degrees for this one we have mg that is acting down 
and component of tension that is acting vertically up and these two forces they are equal this is t cosine of 30 degrees let's say this is equation one let's say this is second now simply if we divide one by two then we can write down f over mg this is t sine of 30 degrees divided by t cosine of 30 degrees tt we can cancel then we simply left with f over mg or simply we can say this is mg tangent of 30 degrees same equation we have we need to simply plug in values g is 9.81 this is tangent of 30 degrees if we solve this we will get value of f that is equal to 170 newtons and this is our final answer that's correct option c is correct option